Hello, welcome to this video. Today we're looking at PowerPoint and how to create a automated quiz, very similar to sort of quizzes where students click on the A, B, C or D button to choose the right answer. So first off, we're going to create a title slide. So what we'll do is we'll use the insert menu, we'll go to pictures, we'll go to stock images. And let's make it about, let's say it's a biology quiz. So we'll click that and insert that. And we can use the design ideas template, which comes up to format that home page. So we'll say And then we'll insert a new slide. We're going to use the heading for our question box. So we'll call that Q1. And we're going to get rid of the box beneath it. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to insert some shapes. So we go to the insert shape option. I'll choose a button like shape, like the rounded edge one. So we're going to make that a rectangle. I'm looking to fit four options because I want four question uh, answer options for my question. So having done so created the shape, I'm going to go to shape outline and get rid of that. I'm then going to double click on the shape to identify that as answer option A. Uh, let's make let's just change the formatting of that text. So we're going to make it slightly bigger. Let's make it 32. I'm going to align it to the left. So I've got my first button. I'm going to copy that button and paste it so I've got my other buttons. But before I do that, I just want to show you a trick when it comes to how you can make the button change color as the student clicks on it. So to do that, we're going to need to, let's get rid of the stock images. If we go to the animation pane uh, and we can see animations there, there's a fill color option. And if you look at the little star with the, the cog on it, you can turn on the animation pane. So let's open up the animation pane. At the moment we've got no animations added so we can see there's nothing in there but having selected the first button if we click on the fill color option it automatically gives us some options so we can in this case we can choose what what color we want i've added a red and a green already by going more colors so say i wanted this to be answer a in this particular question was correct so i'll make that green if i scroll down on click I want it to go green immediately. And as far as start effects, I want it on the click of a, the specific button. So now if we preview that, imagine we've got four of these. When the student clicks on that, if that's what they think is the correct answer, it goes green to signal that they've got the answer correct. So let's just come out of the full screen for the moment. So having created that animation, we can now copy and paste let's line that up and we can make that instead of being box a we can make that box b and we can copy and paste and align that up and we'll make that box d and we'll copy and paste and we'll make that box Oh, I've done this wrong way around, haven't I? Let's make that box D and let's make that box C. So we've got our four boxes now. So if we click on that. We know, let's go back to box A. If we select box A, we can see that's the correct answer. So we now go to box B and select that. All we need to do is because box A is right, we know box B is incorrect. So we can choose red and we can go through and do the same with the others. So we can Having done that, we need to just come down to the bottom and make sure that we've got the correct box checked. So yeah, it's on click of box B, which is correct. And we can go to box C now, click on the C option on our animation window, turn that to, to red. I just want to do it for me at the moment. I don't know why it's doing that. But yeah, it should, there we are and do the same with box D and we can scroll down, select animation D and there we are. So now if we preview that, when the student clicks on the box, it changes color. So we've got box A is correct, box B, 
C and D are incorrect. So we've got those on there. Now you could do various things. You could write your answer in here. So this could just be A. It could be a text-based quiz where you've got your question written at the top and your answer there. Or if you wanted to, we could right click on the image, go to format shape, and we could go for a picture fill and we could choose a picture that we wanted to add to that background. So it could be that it's a picture quiz as opposed to a text one. So I'm gonna undo that. Other things you may want to do, if you wanted uh, there to be an audio option so that the question is read to the student, you could use the record audio feature. So if you go to insert and then audio, click on the drop down. One of the options is record audio. So you can click on that, press record, and then you can start recording your question. In this question, you need to tell me one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever it may be. And then when you're happy with that, just click insert. That provides a, a speaker and that's ready to go. So now when we press play, we can click on the speaker and it brings up your question. So that's how you could have audio for your questions. You may also want to give an audio introduction for your quiz. So we click record. Welcome to this biology quiz. Work through the questions, all multiple choice, picking the, the correct answers, the answers that you think are correct. And we do that and insert that. And again, that could appear there. So, so far we've just got the one question. Uh, all we need to do very simply is right click on that, duplicate the slide, determine which is which is the correct answer. And then if we go back to the formatting, the animation tab, we can just change those around. So at the moment we know that A is correct, so we could swap that for red. We go to B, let's make let's make D correct. So we scroll down to D. And we can make that D is correct. Uh, and it's that straightforward. For the students to use, I think it works best if it's embedded in a page. Um, so obviously you'd need to share it with the students. Um, as I say, I think it works best when embedded in a page, um, but you could do share and give them the link if you wanted. And then as soon as you press present, up comes the question and they can choose the answer and it says whether it's right or wrong. You could also use it in a classroom situation. A student comes up to comes up to the front of the room uh, and clicks on, on which button they think is right or in these COVID times, you could just uh, get the students to shout out or, or to very quietly, not shout, <laughs> say what the answer is and then you could click on the box to reveal whether it's correct or not. So there you have it, uh, a very easy and quick way to use the animate feature to create a quiz and then use the fill color option in order to, to bring it to life a bit. So I hope you found the video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.